The season is officially over for our brother Enzo Fernandez. It's kind of sad, but it's also a good thing, you know? So I don't know how to feel. Should I be sad or should I be happy? I'm sad and happy at the same time because that means the season is over, but he's going to get good treatment. Be ready for Copa America. Be ready for the preseason. The boy been playing with a lot of pain. And that's why I was asking myself what happened to this brother. Why he is so poor. He doesn't run normally. He doesn't tackle. He doesn't do defensive work. Only glance of brilliance here and there because he's Enzo and he can create something offensively. And the reason the reason was there all this time. Reports say that he been dealing with this pain for more than a year after the World Cup. He, you know, he could have had surgery back then, and he continued playing with a lot of pain, injections, and all that. So I'm happy that he's gonna be healthy and ready for us and for the national team. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below, my friends. It's not gonna cost you anything. It would take you only one second. Much appreciate it. This video is about head to head Aston Villa against Chelsea Football Club this weekend. And let me tell you the truth. I'm afraid. I'm scared. This game can turn to another nightmare for Chelsea. All right. <laughs> so if you look at the last uh, few games, three games here that we played against them, we beat them actually in the last game. FA Cup, remember? 3-1, Enzo Fernandez. What a free kick. What a free kick. What a result. And he kissed the badge. He kissed the shirt. Everybody happy, happy. Because the first leg at Stamford Bridge in the FA Cup, we actually drew a boring 0-0. And in the Premier League, this is another competition. They beat us 1-0 at Stamford Bridge. Remember, Malo Gusto got the red card and we were awful. But we created chances as per usual. We refused <laughs> to score. And we got the sucker punch, red card, game over. So they beat us at the bridge. It's time for revenge. <laughs> but I don't have a good feeling about this one, my friends. No good feeling. We might get destroyed. I'm not saying that Enzo was going to be the difference, but you know, you miss somebody like Enzo, no matter what, no matter how poor you think he's been this season. But. I'm also happy for Casade. I'm happy that uh, somebody else is going to have a chance. If Pichettino, of course, trusts Casade. So, uh, very, very interesting, my friend. Very interesting game. Let's go head to head. But let me remind you what is happening on the table by the time of recording. I'm recording on Thursday before the game between Manchester City and Brighton. So the table is still a little, a little bit fake because some, some teams already played 34 games. Some teams only 32 games like Manchester City, 32 games. And I think Chelsea also like 32 games or something like that. Let me double. Yeah, Chelsea 32. So the table here is fake, but it is what it is. Arsenal got the point on the table already on the board. And Manchester City needs to play in order to get those points. You see the difference here? Just because you have games in hand doesn't mean that you're going to win all of them. Chelsea had so many games in hand this season and they keep on bottling and drawing and bottling and drawing and it means nothing the end of the day. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's going to be top four FC 
uh, Aston Villa because they are in top four. They are fourth with 66 points on the board against ninth FC. Yeah, we are ninth <laughs> because we've been between 10th and 14th. That is our position. Now we are ninth. Let's celebrate. Yeah, Chelsea, the almighty blues. We're going to finish uh, half, you know, top half of, of the table. Bloody hell. So, number nine against number four. Man, back in the day, we used to smash them like... I still remember under Ancelotti, we, we used to really smash teams like Aston Villa 6 or 7, 8 nil, Something ridiculous like that. But now... The fear factor is gone. Nobody cares about Chelsea anymore. We are just an ordinary mid-table team. Head to head. Ah, oh, let's go. <laughs> so the game is going to be on Saturday, April the 27th. Stay tuned. It's going to be on Peacock if you're living in America. So Peacock service. And uh, the two squads, let's compare the two squads. Aston Villa also spent some money on their players, but experienced players. All of them are like mature. Not all of them. The majority are mature, played for their national team. Some of them are captain of their national teams. Awesome, solid, solid team here. Uh, they don't have tons of injuries like Chelsea. They spent money, but in the normal limit, in the in the market value of players. And you go to Chelsea here, the so-called one billion squad that got like 12 injuries already. Plus Enzo now is going to be like 14 or something. I don't know. We have to wait until the press conference to know who is out and who is in. Look at the team. On paper very expensive but in reality bunch of crap here the majority of them are injured anyways so ha ah, and we're playing away at villa park this could be a long long day for chelsea football club my friends Let's go very quickly, head to head, recent meetings. Just to remind you, this is only in the Premier League. The one that I showed you before was like all together, you know, FA Cup plus Premier League. I, sh I just showed you like three results, but now let's go for Premier League only. So we have uh, this one. Let's start by the bottom one, right? Stamford Bridge, September 2021. Chelsea 3, Aston Villa 0. And then Chelsea went away to beat them. It was December 2022, Villa Park 2-0 to the Almighty Blues. And then April 2023, Chelsea 0, Aston Villa 2, Stamford Bridge. We lost at home against them. And the last time again at Stamford Bridge, September 2023, this season, last year, September, we lost 1-0 to Aston Villa. Malogusto got the red card that day, but it wasn't the reason why Chelsea lost. We did the Chelsea thing, which is creating chances and not taking them and get smashed. Let's go to form guide. Chelsea Football Club in the last five games in the Premier League. They lost against Arsenal heavily 5-0. They drew two games against Burnley and against Sheffield United. And they won only two games against Everton and against Manchester City. Manchester United. What are you talking about? City? United. Hey, wake up, brother. Wake up. What's wrong with you? Okay, so Aston Villa, look at that. They won three games, drew one, and lost one. 
So you can see that they won more games than us. Let's be honest. We already talked about the position on the table, so I'm not going to repeat that. Let's go and give you just some ideas about what happened the last time at Stamford Bridge. I know, I know we don't want to remind ourselves bad memories, but it is what it is. So, Oli Watkins was man of the match, of course, because he scored the only goal. No assist, only one shot on target, one goal. Big chance created one, key passes one. He didn't dribble anybody. Look at Chelsea, man. Ah, the almighty blues. And if you look at the possession that day, Chelsea always domination. FC 52.7% possession. Shot on target, Chelsea 4. Aston Villa 7. Shot all together, Chelsea 10. Aston Villa 15. Malu Gusto, like I said, got the red card in the 58th, uh, 58th minute. And we, we struggled to finish that game. Pochettino didn't know even what to do and how to do it. So as you can tell, this game is not going to be an easy one. It's going to be very complicated. I am preparing a video about my preview. You know, my starting 11 and my score prediction. But let me, you know, this is a spoiler. My head said that Chelsea is going to lose 3-1. Be, that is the logic that is being honest but my heart because i'm a chelsea fan i'm not gonna accept any loss and i say chelsea 2 villa 2 that is my heart so we drew or we lose very complicated Just, let's hope that it's gonna be a miracle from somewhere because remember when we beat them the last game in the uh, in the FA Cup, nobody gave us a chance. We were having a horrible, horrible run of games. And we went away and kind of revived our season. And we, we were so gassed and like, yes, we are back again. But it's Chelsea, man. Sometimes maybe good. Sometimes maybe shite. Mm -hmm. 